So what are the uses of uh, this ray, uh, rayon children? See the uses. Uh, rayon is soft to wear like cotton. Rayon is artificial silk used to make bed sheets, curtains, and carpets, all this. Since it is strong and stable fiber, it is used to make automobile tie cords. Uh, this is nothing but a layer in the, within the tire itself. A, a layer will be present by using this rayon. Uh, it's nothing but a uh, tie cord. Have you seen tire cord, children? It's, it is made up of rayon. This, the beneath the rubber layer, beneath the rubber layer, there is a fiber layer present inside the tire. Okay, this is nothing but this brown color is nothing but rayon. It is made up of rayon. Have you seen? So we will only observe the black color tire, but inside or beneath layer of that black color rubber uh, tire, inside that we can observe this uh, uh, fiber made up of synthetic fiber. This one. Understood, children? Understood? So uh, people are going for the better in uh, in the day to day life. Definitely, people wants to uh, find out the better quality of fiber than what they want or what they, what the kinds of fibers present. Okay, with the limited cost or less expensive thing, a shiny or a delicate look of fibers, definitely they want to go and buy because of the so many boundaries or so many things the people want to search for features simply yes so have you seen the uses of rayon yes ma'am you know about the properties preparations have you seen the spinches in that video have you seen the seen the spinches how the nail of threads are obtaining with the thick solution i said that it's like a dispersed solution not only directly the Cellulose. Cellulose are treated with different chemicals. Then only it converts to viscose. That viscose is passed through the thin, thin or fine holes like structure called spinneret. From that spinneret, we'll find a thin layers of uh, thin thread-like fibers like uh, thin will be walled out and which will be treated further with some more chemicals like acid, but definitely you'll get a fiber. Which fiber? Rayon fiber. So you have seen different uh, uses of it. What are the different kinds of advanced properties of uh, rayon from the natural fibers? Understood? So I said that people always uh, find the better fiber or better things what we uh, what the people are having at present. They always go with the better things. Okay, so especially we are just talking about the fiber. So what are the, like if you have observed the rayon, ray, more than rayon, nylon is having more better features than rayon. But rayon is selectively used in some kinds of, uh, some kinds of substances, materials, and nylon is used in some kind of uh, materials. But rayon and nylon are having, we can't say that rayon is less, nylon is more. No, both are individuals. Understood what I said? Definitely, people will yeah. go for the better thing. Uh, we have the, the main quality, what the rayon is not much developed is like tensile strength. What do you mean by tensile strength? Ma'am, I'm not. What do you mean by tensile strength? Pranay? Can I? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm yes tensile. Tensile strength is the uh, uh, ability of a uh, substance to hold a particular weight. Very good, very good. So the bridge, the metal is having a high tensile strength. That's why it can hold heavy loads. Okay. Yes or no? Ma so ma this, so ma'am, this material could be used in places like, uh, like those, uh, for example, like school bags. Or, yes, it's having ability, ability to hold. Yes. Or maybe for like lawn dry cleaning or something, it can hold like a bar or like no, no, a lot no, no. of things. No, no, no. Not we are talking about parachute ropes. Parachute ropes are used or trekking ropes. Trekking ropes need to hold yes, as well. Whatever is the weight. Yes. So, in the ability to hold, it is having high strength to hold heavy loads. Okay, if we have seen during the highways when we observe the trucks going on, so that the bulk, bulk, what we can say, the products are tightly packed. 
by using this thread, nylon thread. Am I right? Why? Because it can hold, it can hold heavy loads. It is having the ability to hold yes, parachute yeah. ropes. Okay. So that is nothing but tensile strength. So rayon, uh, uh, rayon and nylon mostly are both are having similar properties. But we, if we observed, nylon can effort with high tensile strength than the rayon. Understood. Ma'am, okay. is it, ma'am, nylon can also be used for clothing, right? Yes, that's what I'm saying here. Both rayon and nylon are having equal properties. Both are equal in this thing. But uh, nylon is having high tensile strength. It is stronger than a steel wire. Yeah. So all the time we can't go for the metals, no? So definitely we need to see the alternative of the metal. So we can go with the strength when we compare to the metal. Nylon can be se selected for the breaking. Mm. Yes. Ma'am, also ma'am. Ma'am, for example, like steel and stuff, you can't use it for like uh, all the problems, ma'am. Like yes, that's what we select. It isn't like useful for like every problem. Maybe like some problems or some things which metals cannot uh, fix well, like maybe this. So let me tell you one example, Chai. So when you go and buy the steel wire, steel wire is much more expensive than the nylon, one thing. Okay, the folding and carrying. To maintain that nylon thread is easier than the steel. Okay. So when you go for the tracking on whatever it is, we should have the grip to hold the we should have the grip to hold the wire. So we can't hold much with the metal. So definitely it is flexible and definitely it is uh, like uh, free to hold, comfortable to hold. So then we lightweight when we go with the metals, metals are denser than the fibers. So keeping in all these things, we can say that alternative material which is used as steel wire definitely a nylon thread. No doubt. So here, uh, rayon we have observed it, uh, rayon identified or found in the in the 18th centuries, but nylon is uh, in 19th centuries, 1930s, and this is the first pure artificial fiber. Why I'm saying first pure artificial fiber is. If we have seen the rayon, rayon, the main raw material there over is natural fiber, natural material. So it is a combination of natural and synthetic. So that's why we can't call it as a pure artificial fiber. When we have seen the nylon, the raw material for the nylon is from the chemicals. So it is a pure artificial fiber. We can call our nylon is a pure artificial fiber than rayon because rayon's raw material is cellulose. Understood or not? Excuse so, me, ma'am. Yes, Ronak. Ma'am, but in uh, some textbooks, it was given that nylon is used. Uh, it is produced by coal, water, and that. Yes, it's produced by coal, water, and it is produced, but there are much more. Like, what, are, what is the monomer over here? What is the monomer over here? Polyamide. Monomer is polyamide. Sorry, amide. Monomer is amide over here. Poly means that's a group of amide groups. All amide groups combine to form this thing. Children, here the raw we can't say that only with coal, water, and air. They won't uh, go. They help. They help. But if we have seen rayon, rayon, 80% of it, the natural source is cellulose. But if we have seen the percentage over here, though the coal, air, and water is helpful, but if we have considered the polymer over here is like amide group. Understood, Ronak? Understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes. In that sense, we'll go with it. Okay. So nylon, there are more advanced features. So nylon 6, nylon 6, 6, nylon 5, 10. So all these are the different kinds of nylons. Okay, so each nylon is having uh, much more benefit than the previous one. It's like development, developing the and or to enhance the character or to enhance the property of nylon. There are different kinds of inventions of nylon, foundations, new inventions. Understood. 
Understood or not? Yes, ma'am. Understood. Yes, okay, ma nylon thread is stronger than the steel. Nylon thread is stronger than the steel. So, what are the properties of nylon? Similar like uh, rayon only. Similar like rayon only. Nylon, nylon is strong, durable, wrinkle resistance, moth resistance. Okay. Uh, wrinkle, uh, less expansive, mm, durable, and what else? Durable. What we can say? So all these are the properties of uh, nylon. Similarly, like rayon only, but much more advanced than uh, rayon in sense of uh, tensile strength. Understood? And there are better features of uh, nylon are present. You can see. So you'll you'll be having the picture. What is six, 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 five, ten? This is because when we draw a nylon structure, for everything there is there will be a formula. Am I right? So when we go with the formula of nylon, the position of amide group, here the position of amide group in the sixth position. Here two amide groups are present, both are in the sixth position. Here two amide groups are present, one in the fifth position and tenth position. If you go for the higher classes, then you'll understand about the structures. For up to your level, it doesn't require. If you want, I'll explain you in the next coming session if you want. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So